Laurent, thank you for having us. And uh, not only are you presenting a new collection, but you also have a few other very interesting timepieces. But let's first talk about this new collection. Thank you, Marc-André. Welcome to be here. Um, yes, uh, three years ago, we launched the H08 line, which was uh, one of our first line equipped totally with our Vaucher manufacturer movement. It was a sporty line, uh, 39 millimeter, which means uh, technically, practically uh, more oriented to men. Uh, and it has proved to be a great success, uh, many men buying and also many women. Um, so we had some requests to have a, a, a smaller uh, size uh, uh, sporty watch uh, with a manufacturer movement and we decided not to reduce H08 but to launch another line which is the new line Hermes Cut. So um, yeah, here it is, 36 millimeter. 36. And um, so what are the kind of the main design characteristics of this timepiece? Philippe uh, de Lotal uh, wanted to pay tribute to uh, one of the uh, characteristics of Hermes, which is simple shapes. So uh, simple shapes is basically referring to an exhibition uh, curated by Hermes in 2015 in Metz, Pompidou Center of Art, um, considering that all simple shapes that you find in the world that are not coming from nature come from the work of an artist or craftsman, and so is a traduction, translation of a creation gesture. So simple shapes, but some details giving it strong identities. So here, the same, it's, uh, it's uh, apparently at first sight a f uh, simple shape, round, but if you look at it more carefully, it is a, it is a circle in a round, a circle which is a perfect shape within a round that is a kind of a, um, uh, unperfect shape and why unperfect because it has been sliced it has been cut on the edges three o'clock nine o'clock but also six and twelve o'clock and it gives it uh, a kind of pebble shape that has been cut by the hand of the creator so uh, as you can see it is uh, unusual we like it uh, we like to be uh, different uh, when Philippe saw this uh, nice bevel, he said, well, if I put the crown at 3 o'clock, I will damage this bevel, so I will put the crown at 1.30, which gives it an additional twist, and eventually you come to a, to a shape that I don't know if you will like or not, but I think it's new. <laughs> <laughs> and you're coming with already many different versions of this watch, and it's quite versatile because you can change, obviously, bracelets and so forth. Absolutely, there are four versions of the of the case: steel, steel and diamond, steel and rose gold, steel and rose gold and diamond. So four versions. But then we definitely wanted to have a watch accompanying its customer all day long, all week long. So you can swim 100 meters waterproof. Even the screw, the, the crown is not screwed. Uh, and uh, we wanted an interchangeability system uh, as simple as to be used by any customer not agile so I, I told them <laughs> I have to test it if I test it and if I do it all the customers will do it so they tested it on me and uh, I can tell you it works quite well because here uh, when I take for example this rubber strap I press the, uh, I the, the, the system which is attached to the case internally up and I detach off, you go. The, off, off we go so you can do that with the rubber eight colors plus the metal bracelet, steel or steel and gold. So uh, when you buy this watch, you buy whatever you want, uh, rubber or metal, but then you can buy up to nine bracelets. And uh, play around a bit. Play around, uh, absolutely. Excellent. So let's talk now about something a bit slightly more technical. And uh, you've introduced uh, uh, quite an outstanding minute repeater tourbillon, but not ordinary tourbillon. Tell us all about that. Yeah, we like to we like to propose, uh, if not every year, every second year, uh, a new complication that uh, that uh, that we like to be different from from the rest of the industry. So either we come to fantasy territories or we come to uh, mixing, matching, and matching and mixing uh, different uh, complication our style. So this year we come with uh, Ducatelet uh, Arso, Arso Ducatelet, uh, and it is mixing a central three-axis tourbillon and a minute repeater. 
This minute repeater is uh, quite unique because, first of all, the gong is visible on the visible part of the, of, of, the, of the watch. It is in the shape of a tuning fork, which is new and which we have patented, by the way. It is also new because it's a 5 Hz frequency, which is quite unusual in that type of uh, watches. And it is unusual in terms of style because all the, the wheels in the, in the, in the movement has, has been inspired by the wheels of the Hermes logo the wheels of the carriage next to the, behind the horse. And in, in, in the old uh, French pa painting of the 19th century, it is called Duc. The Duc is the carriage. So the Duc Atelier is the wheel of the carriage. I learned a little something ah, there. You see. <laughs> <laughs> and again, always a fine demonstration of uh, métier d'art, uh, savoir-faire, mm. timepieces. Uh, can you walk us through a, f a few of them? Well, Metier uh, is, is a niche, but it's a niche we, we love to, to nurture, to, to feed, uh, to fuel uh, every, every, every year because we have now a, a public of uh, aficionados, whether they are a Metier d'art collector or a Hermes uh, design collectors. Because one thing is sure, 100% of the Metier d'art we are uh, proposing in terms of design are coming from scarves, mm -hmm. come from Hermes creativity in other, uh, in other uh, products. Uh, and so every year we try to come with a new technique, uh, of course new designs, 20 to 25 new designs per year, but uh, uh, also a new technique. This year we, we add up an automaton, uh, let's say, uh, uh, system on, uh, on the Chorus Stellarum uh, uh, design. This is a design by a Japanese artist, uh, Daisuke Nomura, uh, figuring uh, strange uh, uh, knights, which are indeed uh, uh, gothic vanity. So okay. they are skeletons, women and men, uh, six pieces each, no jealous. <laughs> uh, and if you press on the button at nine o'clock, the bones are uh, moving, and the bones are made of uh, golden appliques that are engraved by hand, painted by hand, and forming the skeleton of the knights. And uh, you don't hear the noise of the bones, but you can move them. All right. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time, and congratulations thank for you, you and your team. And see you soon. Always a pleasure. Thank you.